Hi and welcome to Angle Rules. Uh, just before we start, there is a note shotter available for this video. Just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video. Okay, so what we're going to begin with, we've got four different angles here and they're all meeting at a single point. Now when they meet, they have formed along the bottom a straight line. And this is very important because where all of those angles have met, they've created a straight line. And if we just take a look at our protractor here and we place it in the center, what that's telling us is that if we were to add together the size of the first angle with the size of the second, with the size of the third and the size of the fourth, well, what we would get is this value here. We would get 180 degrees. And so if they have formed a straight line, then there is a rule linking those angles together. And that rule is that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees. So let's see if we can use that information in order to answer some questions. So in our first one, we have um, an angle of 120 degrees and we're trying to find the angle which is pink. Now, um, you can see here that this has formed that straight line and therefore they must add up to 180 degrees. And so all I'm going to do in order to find the missing angle is to do a little subtraction. I'm going to subtract the 120 degrees. So zero take away zero is zero, eight take away two is six, and one take away one is zero. And therefore this angle must be 60 degrees. In the next one, I've got 55 degrees and I've got 95 degrees and then the pink angle and those three are forming the straight line this time and so the first thing I'm actually going to do here is just add together the 95 and the 55 so that I can see how much has already been used so 55 plus 5 is 10 so 1 plus 9 is 10 plus 5 is 15 so that is 150 degrees and therefore to work out the one which is missing I'm going to do 180 take away 150 and that leaves me with 30 degrees. In the last one, the straight line that I'm interested in is along the bottom here. But what we've got here is um, we've got a, an angle of 102 degrees and an angle of 37 degrees and the angle which is pink. And the pink one is the one that we're trying to find. Now, in this situation, what we're actually looking for is that the 180 degrees is the two angles which form the, uh, the straight line. And so actually, everything here is not necessary. They are not required in order for us to find the pink angle. The 37 is actually there just to try to catch people out. And so, all we need to do here is 180 take away 102. And if we do that, we'll borrow one, 10 take away two is eight, seven take away zero is seven, and one take away one is zero. And so this pink angle is actually 78 degrees. And so this time, uh, what we've got are four different angles which are all meeting at a single point. So we have the angle here, and the angle here, and the angle here, and the angle here. And all of them are meeting at this single point right in the center. And what this is going to relate to is what we can see on the right hand side here. Um, if I think about a full circle, so a full turn going all the way from the starting point all the way around the outside and getting back to where I started, well that is 360 degrees. If we bring this protractor in and place it on top of our diagram here, we can see that exactly the same situation is happening. We've turned though in four separate pieces. We turned um, in the purple section first, and then in the red, and then in the green, and then in the blue. But in one swift turn, if we put all of them together, we have turned 360 degrees. And therefore, our rule here is that angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. So let's see how we can put that into action. So again here, what I've got are two angles and then a pink angle making uh, that single point. So they're all meeting right here in the center. And so I've got 100 degrees and I've got 50 degrees. So in total, 
100 plus 150 well that is 250 degrees and so if I want to find out what the pink angle is I'm going to have to subtract that from sorry not from 180 subtract that from 360 so 360 take away 250 0 1 1 and so this last angle must be 110 degrees in the second one we have an 85 degree angle with a 170 degree angle and an 80 degree angle they all need adding together this time so 170 plus 80 plus 85 0 plus 0 plus 5 7 plus 8 is 15 plus 8 is 23 and 1 plus 2 is 3 so those angles add up to 335 if I want to find the last angle well I'm going to have to do 360 subtract 335 and so 10 take away 5 is 5 5 take away 3 is 2 and 3 take away 3 is 0 so the final angle is 25 degrees and lastly we have two lines which are intersecting so two straight lines intersecting or crossing at a single point and it forms four angles now I've colored two of them in blue and two of them in green and all I want to do is I just want to grab the protractor and see if we can spot anything about those angles well if I show you the blue angle well the blue angle is 110 degrees let's have a look at the other blue angle if I look at the other blue angle and turn my protractor around the other blue angle is also 110 degrees what about the green angle well if I take my protractor this time and just measure the green angle and there we go that is showing me that the green angle is 70 degrees and also if I just bring my protractor back in and measure this angle that one is also 70 degrees and so what is that telling me well it's telling me a special rule about intersecting lines vertically opposite angles are equal now vertically opposite the word vertical generally means up and down so that is what we would think of here they are vertically opposite but the word vertically opposite also actually takes into account the blue angles as well so if you have two lines crossing the opposite angles are equal to each other so one final um, final uh, question to complete can we find all of the colored angles in this diagram well we've been given them in a specific order yellow green pink blue and then orange so let's try and solve them in each, in the correct order but we're also going to give a reason for our answer as we go and so the yellow if we look at the yellow we have the angle of 87 degrees and then the yellow angle they are forming a straight line and therefore as they are on a straight line we can say that angles on a straight line add up to 180 and so 180 take away 87 well that is going to be um, 10 take away 7 is 3 17 take away 8 is 9 and so the yellow so, uh, yellow angle is 93 degrees we're then asked for the green angle well the green angle what we could say here is that again it forms a straight line but we could also say we have vertically opposite angles and so the red angle uh, sorry the 87 and the green angle well they must be equal and so we can just say vertically opposite angles are equal And therefore 87 degrees the pink one well again this is entirely up to you how you go about it the pink one we could be thinking about the fact there is a straight line here and so it's a straight line with the 87 degrees 
Or we could also be looking and saying that they are vertically opposite. It's vertically opposite the yellow. And so it's up to you which one you choose. I'm going to go with angles on a straight line just because that is incorporating an angle that we knew from the diagram. So again, angles on a straight line. Add up to 180. And I don't need to do the calculation this time because it's going to be exactly the same as what we had up here. And therefore, it's 93 degrees. The blue one. Well, the blue one, the only angle that the blue one is included with is the 20, uh, 125 degrees. And again, that is making a straight line. And so our rule is that angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees and in this case 180 take away 125 well that's going to be 5 and 5 and 0 so this one would be 55 degrees and finally the orange well again the orange here is only interested in the 32 degrees it forms a straight line and so we have exactly the same rule again angles on a straight line add up 280 degrees and so this one we need to do 180 take away 32 and that gives me 8 and 4 and 1 so it's 148 degrees and so we end with the exam question this one came from the edexcel mock papers and it was on foundation paper one um, and we're asked to work out the size of the angle marked X. And so in this case, one thing we need to just be aware of here is what this little square means. If we see a little square, that means that it is 90 degrees. It's a right angle. Um, and so that one is 90 degrees. If we have a look at the diagram, in total, this is creating a full turn. All of these angles are meeting at a single point and therefore they must add up to 360 degrees. And so first of all I'm just going to add together the two angles I already know. So that is going to be 215 and because they must add up to 360 I'm then going to subtract that from it. And so what I have is 145 degrees and so x equals 145 degrees now in this question we haven't been asked for a reason um, but if we were then the reason would be because angles at a point add up to 360 degrees degrees.